which soup do you want for your tea? That one. That one? Yeah. Well, that's whole sweet red peppers? Yeah, I know. Well, I'll get you some creamy tomato. You like creamy tomato, don't you? Here. What are you doing? Robin. It's very wrong to steal. You do know that, don't you? Yeah, I know. Well, put that back then. I am very disappointed in you, Andy Pipkin. I don't ever want to see you do anything like that ever again. Do you hear? Sorry. Right. Now, we're all out of beans. Now, I could get you the normal ones, or the ones with a little chip of lasses in. Oh, They're doing a special offer on Alpha Betty Spaghetti. <laughs> Andy? Andy? Project's in by first thing next week. Vicky Pollard, stay behind. Oh, good luck, Vicky. Yes, thank you, Kelly. <laughs> you come here, please, Vicky. Vicky, it's been two weeks now, and I still haven't received your essay on Lord Kitchener. No, because what happened was, was I was going round cars, but then this whole thing happened because Shelley Todd is a bitch anyway. I've been completely going around saying that Destiny stole money out of Rochelle's purse, but I ain't not even spoken to Rochelle because she's like Dash Michaela's hair. Vicky, I'm not interested in that. I'm more interested in, in your coursework. No, yeah, because what happened was, was this whole thing happened, what I didn't even know nothing about, because Ashley Kramer's been going around saying that Samantha's brother smells mud, but anyway, Shab! Never even stole no car, so Shab! Vicky, have you even started this essay? New, but, year, but, new, but, yeah, but, new, but, yeah, but, new, because I'm not even going on the pill because Nadine reckons they stopped me from getting pregnant. You know if I don't get this essay by the end of the week, I'm going to have to fail you. Yeah, but Louise Farrell emptied a whole bottle of Fanta into Shannon's bag, but anyway, Luke reckons he figured I'm a bacon around the back of the language lab. Vicky, do you want to pass your GCSE? GCSE what? Don't go give me evils. I hear what you say, but I think what you're proposing is an abuse of our friendship. Look. There are no half measures. Either you are with the United States on this, or you are against us. <laughs> well, I think we'll have to take advice from the United Nations, because I refuse to be bullied into making a snap decision. The United Nations can go to hell. If you want this special relationship with our country to continue, you're going to have to start delivery. <laughs> rush into anything, perhaps you'd like to see what the British intelligence has to say. <laughs> and perhaps you'd like to see what the CIA has gathered. <laughs> Sebastian, could you get the uh, document for the President, please? Yes, Prime Minister. I'll get it right now, Prime Minister. <laughs> uh, Marvin, can you get the CIA files for the Prime Minister, please? Yes, sir, Mr. President, sir. <laughs> My Prime Minister's so much better than your President. Mr. President's big and powerful and so rugged. Your Prime Minister sucks. How dare you! Get your hands off me, please, sir! Get your hands off me! Get your hands off me! Get your hands off me! You will, you will! You will. Oh, what on earth is going on? She, she said, said you suck! Oh, what is it? Did you mean anything? It's enough! She's the one who started it! Come on, come on! Mr. President, we have to go to the photo call. This behaviour is completely inappropriate. This is a difficult enough situation and you're making it a lot worse. Let me handle this. You two should be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> two senior aides acting like a pair of third graders. You're an embarrassment. 